So I'm blind and one of the biggest misconceptions about blind people is that they can't use any form of technology. So in this video, I'm going to show you how a blind person uses a Windows laptop. So on my laptop, I have a software called JAWS, which basically means I can do anything anyone else can. So I can check the time by pressing insert F12. And it says it's 13.34. If I press insert, shift, and B. AC connected. Battery level. I. Battery 100%. Network blind. Internet access. Which tells me the battery level, which is high, and that my power is connected, and that I have internet access. If I want to have a look in my notification center, I press Windows N. Windows N. No new notifications. Notifications. Do not disturb button not checked. No new notifications which tells me I have no new notifications. And if I use the tab, I can move around in this section. Calendar, Sunday the 8th of October button. So I've got my calendar, so it's Sunday the 8th of October. Expand calendar button. If I press the expand calendar. Space. By using either space bar or enter, I can look through the week. October 2, previous button. Next button. So October 2000, and decrease focus duration button. October 2023, no, October 2023, 9, to October 2023, 10, column 2, row 3. And then if I just press the escape, desktop. Folder view list view. I get back to my desktop. If I press Windows A, Windows A. Notification center. Notification center. Notification I go into center. what is known as the notification center, but isn't. It's actually where I can connect Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, increase brightness, increase sound, decrease sound, things like that. And again, you just use tab. Manage Wi-Fi connections button. So I can space. Wi-Fi. List box. Glyph connected. Open. Open. Manage Signal four under four buttons. One of select. Wi-Fi button. Back button. Space. Ma brightness left right slider. One hundred plus one. Manage Wi-Fi. Bluetooth button checked. Two of six. And to go through these, you just use the arrow keys. Flight mode button not checked. Accessibility button. Five of six. Project button, 6 of 6. Brightness left right slider, 100%. One tab to get to brightness. Battery, fully charged, 100% button. If I want to increase or decrease the brightness, you just press the left arrow to decrease. 98%, 97%, 96%, 95%. Or the right arrow to increase. 96%, 97%, 98%, 99%. Then, to get to the sound, I press down arrow and tab. Sound output left right slider, 15%. And then if I want to increase, I press the right arrow. 16%, 17%, 18%, 19%, 20%. And then to decrease the left arrow. 19%, 18%, 17%, 16%, And then to exit, escape. we press desktop. escape. Folder. And we're back on the desktop. And another cool trick you can do with JAWS is you can turn the screen off by pressing insert space screen 11 which turns the screen off and then to turn the screen shade back off you do insert space wait for that noise and then press f11 so they're just a couple of commands to use on the desktop when you're using JAWS I'm going to try and make this into like a mini series I guess so next, I'll cover how to use Word documents.